What's up guys, my name's Toby and welcome to my channel. Today we're at West End Gate and I'll be showing you the penthouse on the 29th floor of Westmark Tower. Now this home features four bedrooms, five bathrooms and has 4,757 square feet of internal living space. This home's currently asking £12,750,000. For more information on this penthouse, check the description down below. Just before we start this tour, I'd like to thank Property House Marketing and Barclay Group for inviting us to tour this incredible penthouse. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now the amenities package at Westmark Tower includes a 24-hour concierge, residence lounge, swimming pool and spa, gym and club room. Here we are inside the penthouse. Now we're first greeted with this grand entryway. We have your herringbone floors which runs all throughout this space. Then just in front of me we have your large glass table and then a chandelier hanging above which really brings this space to life when you come in. Now it leads us through to the open plan formal and informal reception area. I want to start off in the informal reception space. Now it's a great cozy space, a nice place that you could just relax and chill out at all times of the day. Now the interior design was done by Killer5 Interior Design Studios and they're responsible for this apartment as well as the residence lounge downstairs. Now you have seating for about 10 in here and just in front of me we have your large built-in shelving unit finished in a dark hardwood and then your ornaments surrounding which have been nicely placed and of course we can't miss the built-in TV. Now just in front of me we're led to the first of three balconies in this penthouse. Let's take a look stepping out we have a good amount of space here and then you can enjoy these incredible views overlooking Hyde Park now fun fact Westmark Tower is the tallest building in Westminster so if you have the penthouse you get an unobstructed views of London for miles and that's the first balcony let's step back inside now we will check out the formal reception area dressed very well we have seating for about 12 here large coffee table just below me and then we can't miss this unique hand-picked chandelier just above now there's also floor to ceiling windows overlooking london which is just incredible and it's complemented with this drapery and that is the formal reception area follow me through these double doors where we're led to the dining area now what a space, we have seating for 10 here. And I mean, this has just been designed to entertain for all meals. What an incredible dining space, huge chandelier above. And then opposite the dining table, you have your floor to ceiling windows, once again, with views of London. Now the dining area has a cool little secret. If you follow me just through here, we have a hidden door which leads through to what I would like to call the chef's quarters. Now through here we have the chef's kitchen which is also the prep room, a great space. We have your composite stone worktops in here, full sink, same composite stone on a backsplash. We have your Bosch integrated appliances, so we have your induction hob here and then two ovens. There's also a fridge and freezer. Now this area isn't finished just yet as there's also a guest WC through this door, let's take a look inside. Fantastic finishes, light stone, you have your floating vanity unit to finish off the space. Now, what a cool chef's quarters. Follow me back into the dining area as we'll now head through and check out the kitchen. Coming through. Now, what a generous amount of space in this kitchen. We have your natural stone floors and then we can't miss this huge island with this triangular shape. We have integrated bar seating for six. And as we come down on the island, one thing I love is this nicely recessed pop-up plugs just here. 
Now, as we make our way down, we have your huge Gaganel induction hob with a built-in vent. And one detail that I love is that the knobs have been nicely integrated to the cabinetry down below. A great touch there. As we make our way down, we have a full sink here. And then opposite the island, we have another built-in countertop, full sink. And then one thing we all love is a wine fridge. Now, if you don't want to show this space, a cool feature is that there's these pull-out doors, which lets you keep this area nice and tucked away. Not too bad. Now, as we make our way down, we have three Gaganel ovens here. And then to finish off this side of the kitchen, we have your huge fridge and freezer through these doors, which has been dressed very well. Now, follow me around. One thing to touch on, we have your floor to ceiling windows once again, which wraps around the apartment. We have an informal dining area here that you can enjoy breakfast or those simple foods. Now, through this door, we're led out to the second balcony. Follow me through. Now, this is the balcony where you're gonna do most of your entertaining when guests come. We have your seating area arranged well, table here for four, and then we have views out towards Hyde Park. And I mean, it's just fantastic that you get this much outside space in your apartment. Now, follow me through here where we're gonna be led into the hallway. Now, this is the grand hallway, which leads through to the entryway, which we saw earlier on. I wanna to touch on the art pieces, which has been handpicked by the interior designers. And as we go throughout the apartment, you're gonna see it really just brings this space to life. Now, to my left, we're led into the home office. So grand, so much room in here. This is the average size of a reception room for most apartments. We have seating for eight here, huge coffee table down below, and then this unique chandelier just illuminating the room. Just in front of me, we have your built-in shelving. Once again, leather paneling here behind the built-in TV unit, and then tons of space to store ornaments and books. Now, as we make our way around, we have floor to ceiling windows now, views out towards Hyde Park. And one cool feature I love is that this apartment also comes with a telescope. So if you're a nosy neighbor, this is perfect for you. Now, as we make our way around, we have your desk set up here. This is where the uh, boss or CEO will be sitting, conducting his meetings from. And then we also, just behind me, have access to the balcony, which we've just seen. What an incredible home office or home study. I mean, I can imagine working here every day of the week. Now you've seen the open plan reception room, you've seen the dining area, the kitchen, and the home office. Follow me, let's check out the bedroom suites. Just behind me, we have the second half of the apartment, which hosts the bedroom suites. Follow me through to the first bedroom, stepping through. We have your fitted carpets in this space, soft to the touch, king size bed in here. It's been dressed very well with your two bedside tables and your floor to ceiling headrest. Now, just behind me, we have a large window overlooking London. And as we make our way around opposite the bed, we have your vanity unit and then we're at your built-in wardrobes. And it has a great function where you just pull and slide to open. Great touch there. Automatic LED lights, dark toned hardwood finishes, and a good amount of space to store your clothes. Now, we're not finished in this bedroom as just around here, we have your ensuite bathroom. We have these light tone stone finishes, floating vanity unit, and then your walk-in shower with a mosaic tile detailing on the walls. And I really like this gold finishing. You have your recessed soap box and a rainfall shower head to finish off the ensuite bathroom. Now that's the first bedroom. If you follow me out in the hallway, one key thing to point out about this apartment is that there's an abundance of storage. Now coming down the hallway through these double doors, we have storage, which you could put your luggage in. And as we make our way down, we have another storage compartment here, which hosts your ski equipment. And as we make our way down, you've guessed it through these double doors, we have another storage compartment. Heading into the second bedroom now, the proportions are great in this space. Fitted carpets once again, floor to ceiling window overlooking London. You can see Hampstead Heath from here. Now we have your queen size bed, pink tones, floor to ceiling headrest, 
and making our way around we have your built-in wardrobes here let's take a peek inside simply pull and then slide to open automatic led lights and as we make our way around we have your textured wallpaper and it's hosting this piece of art i'm not too sure what's going on here but it looks pretty cool stepping into this bathroom it's slightly bigger than the first one which we just saw we have your full-size bathtub dark tone mosaic tile detailing chrome finishes on the rainfall shower head Making our way around, we have a floating vanity unit here, medicine cabinet just above, and opposite the bathtub, this bathroom also has a walk-in shower, darker tone, mosaic tile detailing, and then of course, the rainfall shower head. And that's the second bedroom. Now follow me back out where we'll see the third bedroom. We have your orange and green tones in here, queen size bed, two bedside tables. Now just in front of me, we have your built-in wardrobes. Let's take a peek inside. Really deep in here and a good amount of space for clothes. Now the third bedroom also has its on, an ensuite bathroom, floating vanity, and then of course your walk-in shower and that's the third bedroom now let's head into everyone's favorite the primary bedroom suite follow me through stepping in and i mean what a space we're first greeted with the incredible bedroom we have a king size bed floor to ceiling headrest and then of course we can't miss this huge chandelier above and there's also a seating area here which is great because i can imagine you waking up coming over here you know, just relaxing, reading a book, having an espresso before you start your busy day ahead. Now, the primary bedroom suite also comes with its own private balcony, which I think is really cool. Through here, we're led to an amazing outside space. The interior design continues and you have two large openings, which allows you to see London completely unobstructed not a bad thing to have in your primary bedroom sweet now let's step back inside as we'll make our way through and check out the walk-in wardrobe as we come through these double doors we have your walk-in wardrobe with a his and her side we have two open wardrobe sections here and then on the opposite side behind me and then through this mirrored door we have your built-in wardrobes with a great amount of space to store your clothes now just around here, if you follow me, we have the ensuite bathroom. Making our way through, I mean, a grand space. Starting off with this freestanding bathtub by Durave, looks super cozy. It's backed onto your dark tone mosaic tile detailing. And if you're taking a bath and you get slightly bored, you have your built-in TV unit just in front. Now behind me, as we come around, we have your double vanity unit here, his and hers. You have your medicine cabinets built above. And then in front of me, one of my favorite features of the ensuite bathroom is this huge walk-in shower, gorgeous marble finishes surrounding, and then you have your large rainfall shower head to finish off this space. What an incredible apartment. And that is the penthouse at Westmark Tower. Hold on, do you know what's gonna happen to your estate? I know what you're thinking. I'm too young, I don't have anything to leave, and it's confusing and expensive. I get it, leaving a will is a bit scary and it feels final, but truthfully over half the UK population doesn't have a will in place and if you pass away without having a will in place, it's known as a dying interstate and any control you thought you might have over your estate no longer exists and the people you thought would inherit your estate could end up with nothing. By having a will in place, it's a legal document that lets you decide what happens to your money, property and possessions and it's not open to debate. This is where Asset Harbour comes in. Their team of experienced and qualified will writers under the Society of Will Writers can work with you no matter how big or small. So you might be wondering, what does a will do for me? Well, it lets you decide where and to who your estate will go, what happens to your children and when they can inherit your estate, what happens to your pets, and also who doesn't get anything from your estate. So don't leave it to chance. Take control now and talk to Asset Harbour today so you can give your loved ones peace of mind for tomorrow. And that's Westmark Tower, showcasing some of London's best views from the 29th floor. Overall, we have four well-proportioned bedrooms and some great entertaining space. 
Thanks once again to Property House Marketing and Barclay Group for inviting us to tour this penthouse. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them down below. If you wanna see more tours like this, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.